are here at the 2017 Motor Show in Geneva. We are here with Christian Buhlmann from Volkswagen in Europe to talk about EVs, concept cars, and everything coming up in the Volkswagen roadmap. Now we are in a stage where we can uh, make an optimum uh, for an EV. So if we put everything to the ground, for instance, the center of gravity is much lower uh, than it is with the current uh, combustion engine vehicle. And uh, the, uh, the, the room that is saved by doing so shows with any EV, whether it's a compact size car, where you can all of a sudden sit as a front passenger with crossed legs. Try to do that in any combustion engine vehicle. Yeah. It's not possible because the dashboard is closer to you than with an EV. Limousine space in a compact size car, right? So on the same footprint, there's much more passenger space now. The uh, ID that we've shown in Paris a uh, half a year ago, um, that is a car. It has about the size of a Golf, Volkswagen Golf and um, you still have about eight inches more in, in leg room in the front than the, the current Golf offers just because of that yeah because uh, think of it the limit in a normal vehicle is always the firewall well what if there is no firewall since there's no fire <laughs> uh, what if the the firewall only divides the the um, passenger space from electronics and AC unit as the firewall moves to the front also the dashboard can move to the front and therefore you have more more interior space if the major goal is uh, range then uh, top speeds cannot be the goal at the same time because of the energy uh, consumption that is needed uh, to, to reach that top, top speeds. If you consider the, the traffic in, in the United States or the traffic situations that we have here in Europe, you're talking anywhere uh, about 80, maybe 85 miles per hour at a, at a maximum because it's not needed uh, to, to have uh, much more. The, the ones that we are currently uh, producing are anywhere between 90 and 100 miles per hour for instance the e-golf mm -hmm. it's way enough for american traffic it is uh, also enough for the traffic that we see in, in, in europe we do also make very sporty vehicles you can also get a golf with 300 horsepower like a golf r with a combustion engine but uh, that's not the, the the point for buyers to to uh, opt for for an ev The update that we did for the e-golf now delivers 50% more versus the, the last one. And as the energy density in the cells is, is growing from generation to generation, and all those generations are every two and a half to three years, uh, we will see a range increase over the next uh, couple of years that's tremendously. The markets are shifting uh, quite fast towards EVs. There are certain markets like Norway or the Netherlands um, which um, support you as a buyer when you, when you uh, opt for an EV. And um, on the other hand, um, those are, are markets where um, the CO2 emission is, um, is, is taxed heavily, right? So therefore, uh, it's a common interest to offer um, plug-in hybrids as well as, uh, as EVs, especially for those markets. So they are kind of the pioneers in this, in this world. And then other uh, markets are changing towards EVs rather slowly, but they will change as well. For instance, we have a market leading position now in Norway with uh, the e-Golf. It is not a a luxury car but it's a mass production car we make about 1 million golf per year and um, 
a small portion of this nowadays are EVs, but this portion is growing and growing as more markets um, are opening for EVs and as the infrastructure is getting better. I'm sure that even in 2025 and beyond, there's still a majority of combustion engine cars because this doesn't come overnight. Everything that we experience today, all the cars that we drive today are part of an evolutionary process that went on for 130 years and therefore a shift towards EV is not going to come overnight but it's coming with more and more and better and better products uh, being introduced in the market where you really have the choice is this the right format or is that the right format? If it's in any case a Volkswagen, we've done everything right. Our target is always to make a concept car which is feasible for serious production and uh, a vehicle that takes everything to the limits. So where you not only have a nice shell, but where you also have the underpinnings to show the audience this is a real driving car, right? This car can drive to the stage. So this is not just a shell, but it's a real vehicle, right? And there's a lot of uh, craftsmanship behind this because you don't have a serious production line yet. So the approach is to, to make a car that looks and appears and uh, functions as if it was. There will be an electric bus like this because um, we are very successful nowadays with a combustion engine bus and if you think of it that, that more and more cars becoming electric, why shouldn't the bus be electric as it has always been there ever since 1950. So we have a 67 year history heritage uh, with the brand there and this is a vehicle that can come only from Volkswagen. In the year 2020, the first uh, ID will come to the market, that's in three years from now. Um, and you know, Volkswagen is a car maker known for its compact size cars. Uh, the Volkswagen-minded customers are the ones that are looking for a compact size car in the first place. So this has got to be our first EV as well. And then we are speaking about other vehicles like, for instance, uh, SUVs. If you see the Tiguan, it's selling more than a half million cars per year. We now have an all new version out for the United States, also as a seven seater. So this development goes, goes on and the same will go on with our MPVs. We have currently the Touran MPV, we have the Sharan MPV, we got the Multivan MPV. So there's there's many different uh, different MPVs out in the in the combustion world and now we want to transform this also into the EV world. That's what we're here for.